Hello, it is Kelly. I am back with another process video. I'm using this cut file from Cut to You. This is a design team project for Cut to You. It's, um, I'm showing you very quickly that some of the supplies I'm using. That is happiness. This is the happiness is homemade collection by Echo Park. And this is an older collection and I'm using up some of the extras from this uh, collection that I have still. And this looks really odd right now, but I have a plan. <laughs> I'm going to make this a, I, I love the look of layered papers and I just love the dimension and texture that it adds to a scrapbook page. So that's what I'm going to do here. And this is just kind of my starting point. I will be layering lots of papers around that. So anyway, I hope everyone is doing well and this video will be coming out in oh, the 1st of September. So um, we've, I've had a very busy uh, month. So <laughs> I haven't had many videos coming out just basically due to the fact that I'm trying to find a routine at school and I'm exhausted by the time I get home from school so <laughs> I haven't had much energy or uh, I guess desire to scrapbook here lately but I am hoping that that passes soon because I need to use up I have a, well, I didn't need to use up. I have a ton of pictures that I need to scrap. So hopefully I start feeling more inspired, but lately I just feel tired. <laughs> so. Anyway, and I'm using, as you see, I'm layering lots of papers underneath and I put that wood grain down. That's going to be kind of my base. And I'm using this, I don't you know, I think I got this from Michaels like years ago. It is ribbon that has adhesive on the back. So it's kind of like a washi tape ribbon, but it has the feel and the texture of a ribbon. So, and I'm using two different colors of that. Cause I, like I said, I've had this in my stash for years and this, seem like a good opportunity to use it. So this is pretty much my base layout and here in a minute I will be stitching around the edge there, the top two edges or the edges that I have papers layered. And I am scrapping a picture of a chocolate cake that a friend made for that I, I actually bought it from a friend who he is an awesome baker so he made this for the cake was for my husband's oh, it was for Father's Day so the, the cut file I'm using says You only live once, eat the cake or something to that effect. My mom, I'm, it's early Sunday morning and I'm still not awake. <laughs> we'll see it here in a minute. But as you see, I just keep adding and adding more and more scraps of paper underneath there. Life is short, eat the cake. And there it is. So at first I think that I'm going to use this um, offset background piece for the title but you'll see here in a little while I changed my mind I'm going to just use the title and there's the cake that we cut into is so delicious and so beautiful <laughs> it was almost a shame to cut it but it was delicious and my husband enjoyed it so but I will, pro I, if I'm honest, I probably ate more of that cake than my husband did. <laughs> he, 
he's not one for he won't eat things like several days in a row he wants it you know to be fresh not me i don't have a problem with that especially if it's chocolate eat it till it's gone anyway so i want i have what i was saying earlier is that green paper that i it seemed kind of an odd choice i guess if you were just <laughs> but i liked it because it pulled in the stems of the strawberry that bright green fresh green color i really love the pop of color that it gives and i have this glassine bag with a, a kind of an index card for my journaling and I'm going to layer up some papers to uh, to make kind of a photo stack to set my photo on top and with more layers and a little ink around the edges to give it some definition Here in a little while, I will add a tab to that uh, index card so it's easy to pull out. And I want to add a little more green to the those layers. There's the tabs I was talking about. This came from the collection. I just cut it, I fussy cut around those tabs. It was actually part of a, um, it was actually part of the design of a paper, so but I just wanted the tabs. And I'm adding a little pop of green to this photo stack down here. As you'll see, I didn't use the offset a piece or the offset background for the cut file. I just, I just, thought, I didn't think that it needed it. it. I feel like it stood out more without that offset part. So I'm kind of wanting something to go down here. So I put these little canisters that are part of this collection um, from the sticker sheet and create a kind of a little, just a line of them across the, right there where the, where the title is beneath it. And you won't see me do this on camera, but I will add a sticker, um, word sticker underneath those to kind of give them a shelf to sit on because I felt like they were kind of just floating <laughs> after I turned the camera off. And I also added some of the flower stickers. I cut that in half and used, you'll see here, the on top and then to the side. And a little more ink. And now I'm gonna add a little bit of my finishing touches because this layout is about done and I had these little strawberries pulled aside to go with the theme of the strawberry chocolate cake and I'm just going to tuck those in a couple of places to create my clusters. And I'm trying to decide where to put my third cluster it will end up going right there where that tab is, but in a different arrangement. The tab to the left hand side underneath the multiple layers of paper. <laughs> were peeking out 
beneath the layers there. I like that, the interest it gives. I will also add a couple of words, stickers and the date stamp off camera. So I'm there's one, I'm showing you some of the close-ups. And I appreciate you watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you have an awesome week. Thank you for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, I ask that you will like and subscribe. It helps my channel out. Have an awesome day. Bye.